Watch your back with Evans. Watch your back with Evans. Watch your back. I'm just doing that. Then if I actually go to Netflix. I oh know. Click on it. Nothing. It's doing that. Looks like we're not going to be seeing this fight at all. So uh, today I'm going to imitate, uh, well, not intentionally, but near enough, going to imitate my online friend, um, Tasha, who does her um, videos, Tea with Tasha, or Tea Break. Is it Tea Break with Tasha? But anyway, yeah, as a result of the Lucy Letby case, we've become, uh, well, we, we do occasionally exchange messages on YouTube. So I'm having a Jamaican patty for a snack along with a cup of hot chocolate. Don't know if you can see uh, that, but that's my hot chocolate. But yeah, so tea with Carl. And what I'm talking about to, well, in this video is um, I was, I've been ill for the last few days, as some of you know. I spent most of yesterday in bed and finally today um, I got up, but I got up really late because I stayed up to watch the Mike Tyson fight, as did a lot of silly people. And what can I say? Netflix should never, ever put on a live boxing match or a live sporting event ever again. My um, Netflix froze. So it got like, at various points during various fights, it completely froze so I can watch it. Fortunately, I had another way of watching the fights, which I will not talk about here because possibly they may not be so legal. But I then watched the fight. I had to, I actually had to watch the fight through a method I wouldn't choose to watch it through because I was paying to watch the fight. But Netflix gave me no choice but to use a very um, unscrupulous method of viewing the fight. But anyway, <clears throat> I thought I would stay up to watch the Mike Tyson fight and I had it, I googled it and it said that it, the coverage starts at one o'clock. So I knew I'd probably fall asleep because I've been really ill. So I just had something on Net Netflix. I was watching probably a TV show or something and I fell asleep watching that. And then I'd set my alarm. So I woke up at one o'clock in the morning and started watching the coverage of the fight. And I caught two of the undercard fights. So there were um, these two Mexican guys who had a bit of a brawl. I think they might have been welterweight. And they had a hell of a brawl. And it was fantastic. What a great fight that was. And then an even better fight was um, the uh, Katie Taylor, who I believe is Irish, who fought um, uh, Serrano, um, who might have been... South American or, or American or something. But they, they had a hell of a brawl, these two women. Watching these two women beat the living daylights out of each other. If you're not into boxing, you probably wouldn't have enjoyed it. But they were, they were very good. Um, I don't think Katie Taylor won. I think, she, I think she robbed or the judges robbed Serrano. Serrano definitely landed the better blows. Katie Taylor's best blow was with her head. She had actually managed to um, cut... Serrano above her eye with her head and I thought the fight was going to get stopped because of that but the fight continued and I'm, I'm telling you this girl caught Katie Taylor with from every angle with every shot so that fight um the result was a load of crap and it was really um a Serrano win and then eventually we had the Mike Tyson versus Jake Paul fight now everyone knows who Mike Tyson is Jake Paul is a YouTuber. 
So how anybody expected this to be a fantastic fight? Let's face it. I mean, pe I've seen people complaining online about this fight after having watched it. But here's the thing. What did you expect to get from Mike Tyson? Mike Tyson is 58 years old. He was in a wheelchair a few weeks ago. You know, he was unable to walk. So what, how, what was he doing having a fight? And the fact that he came out of that fight in one piece, all credit to him at 58 years old, I think Jake Paul's about 27 or something like that. Between 27 or 29 or something like that. He's, he's, he's a young guy. And so this young YouTuber who has had a lot of professional fights now and is quite a, you know, well-built and, um, you know, he, he's quite credible. He's fought some credible opponents, including Tommy Fury, and put up a good show. Um, so he's fighting Mike Tyson, who's near enough a pensioner. And I know what it's like to be 58. I'm 56. I'm going to be 57 in a few weeks. Okay. And this year, I'm 56, two years younger than Mike Tyson. And I spent eight weeks in bed because my back went, my back completely packed in. Because your body doesn't heal, your body doesn't recover the same way when you get to your 50s as it did when you were in your... In fact, when you get past 55, I think since I turned 55, my body's not been that good. So I have my good days and I have my bad days. I'd say 50% of the year is probably quite good. And 50% of the year, yeah, you could, you could give me a set of crutches to get around. So that, especially if you've been doing a lot of sports, and I do a lot of sports, so I do a lot of cycling. I played a lot of football. I was playing football until last year and my team got thrown out of the league. Um, you know, I play tennis and badminton. So, and I've ruined my body as a child playing rugby. So I'm going to have lots of aches and pains just as a result of all of that. So, you know, if you look at Mike Tyson, who was obviously doing sports at a much higher level than me, the guy's ruined his body. And he, the second I saw him walking into the ring with his leg strapped up, his knee on one leg clearly has gone or something has gone in his leg and he was strapped up. I knew this isn't going to be a good fight. And basically what <clears throat> Jake Paul did, which was the sensible thing, because to be honest with you, either one of those two boxers could have got badly hurt. If, if Mike Tyson had caught Jake Paul with a clean punch, I don't know what the headlines would have been, but they wouldn't have been very good. And likewise, if Mike Tyson couldn't get out of the way of Jake Paul's punches, he could have got quite badly damaged. So between the two of them, they basically, Mike Tyson stayed in the middle of the ring most of the fight. Jake Paul ran away from him, ran in a, just danced around the wing, occasionally came in for the odd jab. And that was it. That was the fight. It wasn't a very good fight to watch. It was terrible. But I'll give Mike Tyson credit. First of all, 16 minutes. He fought for 16 minutes. The fight went the whole distance. Two two-minute rounds, eight rounds, and he got paid 20 million. So all credit to him. I think Jake Paul might have got a million. Mike Tyson got 20 million. And the other thing I give Mike Tyson absolutely the most credit for is putting other boxers on the map. Because without Mike Tyson being the headline for that fight, Katie Taylor and her opponent Serrano and the two Mexican guys who fought earlier would never have got so many people watching their boxing match. And now they're, they're potential household names because they're on the same bill as Mike Tyson. So Mike Tyson doing that, I think it's the last time he should ever do anything like that. He should never, ever, ever get into the boxing ring unless it's just to say hello to someone. He should never be seen in a boxing ring again. But, you know, all credit to him for doing that. And he came out in one piece. No harm was done. Everyone's still alive. And we should celebrate the legend that was Mike Tyson, who came back for a few minutes to remind us how great he once was and how much he's deteriorated since his um, heyday. Uh, but... You know, it, some people say it's sad to see him uh, like that. But think about Muhammad Ali. I'm sure when Muhammad Ali was 58, he was in a lot worse state. I think Muhammad Ali was moving slowly, probably barely speaking. And 
yeah, he, he, he was a, a lot more of a mess than Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, is, um, his, his cognitive skills are still very much there. And, you know, he's got his cannabis farm, good for him. And he's got his son. His son interviewed him, actually. His son, he's got a very handsome, very big son, a lot bigger than him, who um, did an interview on Netflix um, during the live broadcast of, of his father. And I thought, God, if this guy ever was as good as his father at boxing, um, the uh, professionals would, ha would be in a lot of trouble. So I'm going to just take a bite of him before this gets too cold. Mm. So, yeah, that was the fight. And, um, sorry, I'm eating. It's terrible. I hope everyone enjoyed that fight. Um, you know, Netflix, very bad uh, platform for it to be on. It would have been better on Amazon because Amazon already do lots of live sports every day. Um, but it was on Netflix. Hopefully they learn from that. So the next time they have a fight, they have the bandwidth to deal with all the people watching it. But yeah, that's it. That's all I just wanted to talk about. Um, leave your comments below, subscribe, share the video. And um, I look forward to speaking to you next time. And trust me, it won't be about boxing.